Hey guys, I'm here at BAFTA and luckily I'm, I've met an amazing animator. This is George Gendy and uh, he's responsible for a brand new show that's going to be on Cartoon Network called uh, Apple and Onion. Uh, it doesn't go out until August, but we're going to have a little chat about it now and find out what it's all about. So thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, no problem. So Apple and Onion. We're getting it here in the UK, uh, August 27th, I think. Tell us a bit about it. Well, Apple and Onion is about two friends who have each um, left their homes and left their families and moved to the big city yeah. where they meet each other and decide to live together. And it's really about their adventure through life, which they're going to take together. Apple and Onion, today's I mean, having your own show on Cartoon Network, that's an amazing thing, but how did it start for you? How did you get to that level? Because I heard you worked on, on a number of different shows, things like uh, Gumball. Uh... Yeah, I did start on Gumball. Before then, I did an animation at university. Okay. Uh, then I went to Gumball, and I worked there as a storyboard artist for the whole of season one. At the end of season one, I pitched my own idea, which was Apple and Onion. And then that's been in development from 2011 all the way up to 2016. And then we went into production for the show in 2017. So after you having the initial idea, you had five years of development and were, were Cartoon Network fully uh, immersed in that with you? How did that happen? Yeah, Cartoon Network, it was all with Cartoon Network. Um, some of it I did in the UK. And the second part of it, which was a, a full-length pilot, was done in, in America, in Los Angeles. And um, I was uh, not only developing Apple and Lightning at the time, I was working on other things also. So, um, when you actually took the idea to them, did you have an episode done? Did you have just storyboard? How do you convince someone like Cartoon Network, right, this is my idea, let's run with this? You, well, what I did is I made a Bible, and a Bible is, um, I mean, some people might not know what a Bible is, but it explains the whole show, um, it's all written out, and then the, there'll be drawings too. So, so I would have drawn the characters, Apple and Onion, explain what they were like, explain the whole world, drew a few more characters, and showed what some of the backgrounds uh, could look like, and finally just some episode ideas. So that's enough to give people an idea of what this show could be, and whether they think it might be worth putting it into development. Wow, so that Bible must be like the thing that, that got you the job, really. Yeah, it was that, but it was also um, the fact that the person that was um, interviewing me, you could say, already knew me from Gumball, because okay. that was an exec producer he was, a, I think he was, an, he was an exec on Gumball, yeah. So he'd kind of seen your work already he and... He already knew that I could storyboard and he'd already seen my work on Gumball, so I was a potential candidate for a show, which they're always looking for. Okay. All right. Now, um, the show itself, I've heard there's some musical content in there as well. That's right. There's lots of music in it. Apple and Onion are a very musical duo. They like to sing a lot and uh, sometimes it will just be something they make up on the spot and uh, there won't even be back, backing music sometimes. It just might be the way they talk to each other. And other times it will be uh, a fully produced song that comes up as part of the story in an episode. Yeah. And then in the final episode of the 10 we've made so far, they've actually made a song that they want the whole uh, neighborhood to, to listen to. Okay, nice, nice. Well, uh, we all have a bit of music in our, in our stuff. Now, do you think the, the music in the, in the show has come from your love of music. How, why, why the music in the show? I think it has come from my love of music. I, uh, I think I'm quite musical myself. Yeah. Um, so it's just a natural part of, natural of it. it. What's that? A natural progression. It's a natural progression, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Now, um, in a minute, I'm going to ask you some, some quick fire questions that I like to ask people. Um, and just find out a little bit about them, a little bit of how their head works. But just before we do that, um, what's 
coming up for for this amazing new show, uh, Apple and Onion? What, what's coming up? One series? Yeah, we got one series and eight shorts. It's uh, ten episodes so far and uh, eight shorts. The shorts are all, by the way, music based. They, they will all feature music heavily because we made the shorts after the uh, the ten episodes, and we realised that well, that's such a big part of the show. We might as well make all the shorts about music. Which is your favourite short out of the out of the eight? That's a good question. Uh, it's like asking which child you like best, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like asking which child. Um, there's a few of them I like. I mean, I actually quite like all of them, but Buff Up My Head is one of my favourites. And nothing. Buff Up My Head? Buff Up My Head. Buff Up... <laughs> That's a quality title in itself. I'm going to have to check that out. See it today. Yeah. Come on, Apple. We're going to be late for Burger's birthday party. All right, let me just check I've got everything. Got my keys, my socks are on properly. Apple. Both my shoelaces are tied up. Apple. OK, 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 OK. Uh... <gasps> I forgot to buff up my head. What? Buff up my head. Mate, I have no idea what you are talking about. I forgot to buff up my head, buff up my head. I need to look good, so buff up my head, buff up my head. Oh, buff up your head. Buff it up good, put a shine on it. Buff up my head, wow, buff up my brow. Ooh, polish, polish up your, your head, for that real thing, wow. True, buff up my buff, but mostly my head. I stop buffing yours to buff mine instead. Buffing up your head for a party tonight. Buffing up your head until you shine so bright. Don't use a head job to buff up your head. No. Buff it up, buff it up, true. Buff it up and whip it too. Buff up my head, buff up my head. That's everything on it. Yes, that is what I said. Buff up my head. Sort up my head. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Put me in a bread. Buff up my head. Where the party at? It's over. You guys are really late. <laughs> I had to buff up my head, didn't I? Buff up my head? What does that mean? Buff up my head, 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 head. What's happening? And the other one I like that I think you guys should check out is Nothing Else, which uh, which I think is quite funny. It's a little bit absurd, but but I like it. And these are online, aren't they, at the moment? They are, yeah. Okay, so make sure you go and, and look for those online. I think they're on YouTube. Uh, so just before we go, the quick fire round. Okay, don't be nervous, it's fine. There's no wrong answers here. It's just getting into your head. So here we go. Favorite book? Um, Catcher in the Rye. Nice, good book. Favorite color? Uh, blue. Favorite film? It's fast enough, by the way. Yes, it's, it's definitely fast enough. Favorite film? Um, Spirit of the Way. Oh, great film. Studio Ghibli. Okay, um, favorite sport? Hmm. Well, recently, I've been enjoying paddle ball, which is that thing you play on the beach with the rackets. That's a great game. It's fun. Yeah. Okay, um, childhood fear. What were you scared of as a child? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Spiders, uh, sharks, what? I would say sharks were more scary to me than spiders. Also, tigers. If there was a tiger right in front of me, I would be scared of that. No, so it's, it's a good fear to have. It's a normal fear to have. Okay, here we go. Ready? Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Bieber or Timberlake? It's a good question. Bieber, actually, at the moment. Wow, he's got Bieber on I you like, guys. I like the new Bieber. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. The new Bieber is good. There's no wrong answers here. Beyonce or Rihanna? Uh, Rihanna. Last question. Italian or Spanish? Spanish. What were you thinking of there? Food or people? Language. Nice. Nice. George? Thank you, Nigel. It's been a pleasure to meet you and have a conversation with you also. Good luck with the show. Uh, good luck with the future of the show. And we'll keep an eye on you and hopefully see you soon. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank I'll you. See you soon. Cheers.